Good evening, tasters. Nivla here again with another nightcap note. I mentioned last week that uh, my researches over the next few weeks were to be whiskies from distilleries starting with Glen. And this evening's distillery is Glen Grant from the heart of Speyside. This comes in at 48%, I believe. Yep, 48%. It's a 12-year-old. You'll probably notice it's in a litre bar uh, a litre bottle. I wouldn't mind a barrel of it, but this is in a litre bottle, which was bought duty-free. I did visit Glen Grant in 2007, but they weren't exactly warmly welcoming us. They wanted us to do a tour before we had a taste. And we were running short of time and had done a couple of tours already. So we didn't actually get to taste at the distillery. So this Glen Grant, 12 year old, duty free purchase. It's a, um, it's a pale straw colour, quite clear and bright, but pale. And, and the colour's not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I think some of the, the dark, darker coloured whiskies have probably got some additive in it. This one probably doesn't. By my understanding, there is a lot of Glen Grant that goes into Shivers blends. Anyway, let's let's give it a look. Well, it's an interesting nose. This there seems to be lots going on. There's honey and leather, a hint of green tea, which may sound a bit uh, amazing for a whiskey, but but there's also fruitiness. Well, that's got a, a nice bit of lift and zing on the tongue, which actually is a bit different from the one I mentioned last week, which was the alcohol was aggressive this one's quite smooth and yet it's got a nice zing and a bit of furriness and a really good mouthfeel. A silky texture, there's uh, hints of vanilla and it's really pleasant, a pleasant flavour. And the finish lasts for quite some time. There's hints of spice and honey bit of oakiness and dryness. This is actually quite a nice whiskey. I have three other Glen Grants. One's called the Arboralis, another the Major's Reserve, and I also have a 10 year old. This one is probably the pick of the four of them. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that uh, my friend purchased it for me duty-free on his way back into Australia. Obviously not in the last couple of years, as uh, we've been closed off to international tours. Anyway, Glen Grant, 12-year-old, what do you think of it if you get a chance to taste it? It's not bad. 